all matter on Earth is made up of atoms with a nucleus at its center. But if like charges repel, how can you pack positive protons so closely together? The answer lies in a strong force, which is, you guessed it, the strongest force in our universe. Think of the strong force like putting Velcro on two like poles of magnets. This overcomes the repulsion and keeps them together. To understand this, let's look within the nucleon, a proton or neutron. Each nucleon is made up of constitute valence quarks, which are fundamental particles that carry one of three absolute color charges, red, green, or blue. Similar to how the electric charge can be positive or negative, but without the range of values. They're not actual colors, but a useful construct, as particles made from these quarks must be colorless to be stable. So two quarks together would have opposite color charges, say blue and anti-blue, which cancel out, and three quarks would be red, green, and blue, which combine to form white. Connecting these quarks are the gluons, the glue of the strong force. When a pair of nucleons get close, a quark from one gets pulled towards another, forming a gluon flux tube. Like a stretched elastic band, the more the quarks try to separate, the more energy is built up. Eventually, it snaps, creating a new quark-anti-quark -quark pair. The new meson created mediates the strong force, binding nucleons to each other in the nucleus. Now, quarks move very fast in a very tight space. To keep all that energy in such a small volume requires a lot of what we call quantum chromodynamics binding energy. And using E equals mc squared, this actually accounts for 98% of the mass of an atom. In other words, almost all of the universe's mass comes from the energy stored within the bonds between particles inside nucleons of atoms due to the strong force, a force so fundamental yet cannot even be directly experienced. 